Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing quite a, quite a weird idea well, it's simple but weird because of the name of the object we're going to be using so if you remember the other day when we did the video on the new update we'll just get, yeah we'll get straight into this so if you remember the video the other day there was a star in this simulation called the car so a very very weird thing but there was a star called the car now one of you guys said we should replace the sun with this so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today so i've already saved it as a custom object in here so we'll just go and check it just in case so i saved it here so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into a whole new solar system simulation actually let's go into my um custom we've not used that in a while so oh so many simulations here now so let's go to da -da -da. where's the solar system oh, i'm getting lost i've not been to it in a while so here's our solar system so right yeah okay this is the one we want so we're gonna go ahead and literally just replace the sun here with the car i don't know who named this <laughs> like <laughs> pretty cool so we're gonna go ahead and put it in still mode we're gonna place it right in the center pretty much there now we're gonna delete the sun then we're gonna have to select the whole solar system and do auto orbit because otherwise if i don't press auto orbit all of the planets will just crash into the star or just fly off so this is the closest to the realistic way we can get this so oh god <laughs> Where are we going? So, first of all, before we hit play, we'll, we'll slow down time as well. But before we hit play, um, actually, well, I'm just doing this as well, guys. Just a many, many thanks to everyone who subscribed. We, I think we're 19 subscribers away from 2,000 now. So, we are so close. So, just, yeah, let's keep it up and try and get 2,000. But anyways, back on topic. So, the car has a luminosity of 8,440 suns, 25,000 um, surface temperature. And it's um, obviously clearly bigger than the sun, as you can see from this... Um, comparison we'll quickly do here so there's a the sun so yeah it's clearly bigger wait did I know these new objects here they're just moons well they're pretty small I didn't notice them before anyways so what have we got here oh yeah oh yeah what am I doing yeah those options have been here all the time so we are now going to yeah we're going to go ahead and hit play so we're going to probably see the whole solar system get pretty roasted from this so we're going to go ahead and hit play and watch magic happen so Mercury, or oh, Mercury already, see look, this has happened in minutes. Mercury is already, like, its surface has already turned to molten rock. So, damn, that's crazy. So, if you've seen videos where I've replaced the sun with other stars before, you'll know that whenever we go to Venus, you already know this thing is just going to absolutely go insane in temperature. So, let's um speed up a little more in time as well. And I think as well we saw Earth over there. Where Earth, or oh, Earth's using a lot of material, looks like. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of material. I'm guessing that's the water of Earth is all evaporating away, I'm guessing. Or hydrogen, apparently. I just saw hydrogen there for some reason. I don't know what that's doing there. But yeah, there's Earth. So, also very hot. But Venus, on the other hand, is just getting so hot in temperature now. Look at this. Can it go to 7,000, or is it going to get stuck at 6,000? So it's always it's almost white hot now, which is pretty crazy. So there's that. Uh, Mercury, 3,500. Yeah, Venus is just miles, miles hotter than Mercury and Earth. So Earth's at 2,400. Uh, Mars, let's see, you, 1,600, so not too hot. Some of the surface is still solid rock here. As you can see, those darker black surface areas, they're the, they're the coldest parts of the planet now. Okay, what's happening here? Some of the um, asteroid belt objects as well, they're all just going to evaporate a bit. Hygieia, Mr. Spock, the asteroid, not seen him in a while. Uh, Ceres as well, 1,300 degrees. Let's just quickly check the orbits as well. Okay, so everything's orbs in. Okay, that's good. And let's check the half zone. Does this star even have one? Or we just have to zoom out really far to get it? Nope, doesn't look like this has a um, half zone either, so that's not good. <laughs> Anyways, Jupiter, how are you doing? Okay, 700 degrees. Let's get in a little cooler here. Because remember, this isn't the most crazy star of all time. It is still a... This is pretty much a relatively normal blue star. Only 8,000 luminosity. I'm pretty sure... Or as you guys know as well, there's a lot of stars in this game which are just thousands of times brighter than this. Or hundreds of thousands of times brighter than this. This star is really not anything compared to the big boys. Like, R136A1 here. Like, that. that is the king of the universe sandbox. <laughs> If you ask me for um, the temp or for, for stars, that is definitely the king of the stars in this game, since it is the most powerful star due to its brightness and luminosity and stuff. So there's that, or well, luminosity anyway. I don't know about brightness and stuff, but okay. So here's Saturn. So only 490 degrees here. So I'm guessing Uranus and Neptune will just be in the 300s or 200s. So Uranus two or 292. So there's a good old custom Uranus. Not seen that in a while actually. Then we've got Neptune here, which is only at 178. So really not too hot here. So it's not bad. Pluto is at minus 12, but it is losing a bit of material. It looks like, as you can see from that smoke sort of trail, it's bringing on there. So there's that. Iris. We'll check up on you as well. Okay, so Iris is at 35. So could colonize this if we could put an atmosphere on it maybe 
Um, Sedna minus yes, Sedna's always dark. <laughs> Sedna and Planet Nine. These guys are really never get affected unless it's like the brightest stars. But even Sedna's getting some sunlight now. That's pretty cool. And then Planet Nine minus hundred. Yeah, so Planet Nine is always just chilling out here. And but Planet Nine is getting sunlight though, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's go back to the center of the solar system now. Let's see if any of these objects do just completely vaporize. I'm guessing not, though, because I don't think the star is honestly um, luminous enough to actually completely vaporize some. Because, you know, with um, when we did um, or adding, yeah, when we added the brightest star in the game in, which is this one, so R1, when we added that in, it actually vaporized the whole solar system, even Jupiter. I think the only survivor was Planet Nine and Sedna. But oh, even Jupiter got completely disintegrated by that star. But yeah, this star is definitely not on that level. It looks like even Mercury, the closest object, is surviving. I want it. I hope it's surviving anyway. Because I think I just still saw some material shooting out of it. If we look carefully. What have we got on flashlight? Can we see it a little easier? I know we can't. But if you if you can see um, these. I don't, I don't think you can see my cursor. But you can see these little white circles around Mercury. That is material it's losing. If we just go here. Try and zoom in on it. Can't really see it, but yeah, th this is material that has fell off of Mercury. So you... that isn't good, but it looks like Mercury's still maintaining its um, size. Yeah, it's still at its normal size here, but if we look on the materials option here, we can see it is losing some mass, so that isn't too good. But um, if we just look on moons, how many moons? So it's barely losing anything, as we can see here. Like, it would literally take it probably hundreds of thousands of years for this to actually completely vaporize. Since it's barely losing any mass here, the temperature's not hot, it's mass and radius aren't going down, so... Yeah, there's that. Venus is still boiling hot, but... Is it losing mass? Just put it on moons. Yeah, barely losing anything as well. Yeah, and then we can pretty much work out for Earth and Mars the same thing, since there is a pattern here. Like, Earth, if we just look on mass loss, moons... Yeah, yeah Earth is barely losing anything, as we can see here. And then, um, let's go to Mars... So just check on you as well. So just change them to moon. Yeah, Mars has lost even less than Earth, I think. So yeah, Mercury and Venus are losing a bit, but overall the system is completely fine. So, okay, not bad. So not the most deadly star, but I think it was still worthy doing a video on this star anyway, because, like, why is it called the car? Like, I should research this up. Like, actually, while this is um just playing, I'm going to actually quickly go ahead and research this. I just want to see, like... Like, there's actually a star called the car. Like, well, it's not really coming up, but blue star, the car, maybe? Is that anything? No, it literally, it's just coming up with, like, car websites, like, root cars, not the star, okay. But apparently there's a star called the car, so I couldn't really find anything. If you, any of you guys want to do research into this, just let me know in the comments what you find, because why is it called the car? Like, who named it that? <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Yeah, if you want to find this star for yourselves, just, just search in star on the um, simulation option here, and then go to, obviously, all. So just go to the, the main menu here, just search star, and then go to the near and bright stars, and then you'll find it in there. Yeah, I think, yes, yeah, that one there, I'm pretty sure. And then you'll find the car. It's really, really weird. But, yeah, it doesn't look like this star will completely destroy our solar system anyway, if everything's going fine here, so... To conclude, if the uh, if the car sorry was in uh, was our sun, the solar system would be very hot in temperature, but the planets would be fine. Like no mass is getting lost, no radius, anything like that. Obviously, Earth on the inner planets are all unhabitable since they're too hot. So, oh excuse me, there. <laughs> if we um want to live in this solar system, we'd probably have to live around the moons of not even we'd probably have to live around the moons of maybe no even Uranus and Neptune are too hot. So. If we wanted to live, we'd have to live on dwarf planets, I think. Like, one's really far away. Because you can see here, even some of these are too hot. But if we just go to Iris again, since that one was at a decent temperature earlier. Pluto as well. See, 79 degrees. Maybe we could live there. It'd be very, very hot, though. But yeah, Iris. 30 degrees. Maybe, maybe we could live there, maybe. But it's quite a small object. But maybe? Could we live on a dwarf planet? Possibly. We just have to make an atmosphere or terraform it. But overall, I think that is the most... Or the best place to live in the system. I mean, it is losing a bit of mass as well, but not really much at all, as you can see there. But this would probably be the best place to go. Maybe make make as well. Any of these guys? Just check on all these dwarf planets here. Haumea, see 113. See a lot of these are still very high in temperature, so pretty crazy stuff. But if we go to Sedna, it's too cold. So this one here is um quite or is it a decent temperature? But it's still very. It's a very small object. I don't think. 
humanity with its current population on Earth will be able to survive here. Since this thing is literally tiny. If we zoom into it. If we just um, go here. So if we just zoom into this. Earth is this big. That thing is probably about the size of maybe... I don't know, maybe the size of the USA or China or something, but if you think about it, China by itself has 1.4 billion people, and India has 1.2, I believe. So, I think, like, this would, there's no way this would survive with 7 billion people on it. Like, the whole Earth's population would not live here. The, the cities, or whatever the structures we build, would be very, very cramped. They'd have to be very, very tall as well, because this simply doesn't have enough room to cope with all those buildings, I'm guessing. But, yeah, pr pretty crazy stuff. So, overall, though, I don't think we'd be able to survive in this solar system if the star was the car. <laughs> that is such a weird name. It's cool though, it's unique, I'll give them that, but pretty, pretty weird stuff. But anyways, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure you did hit that like button, subscribe for more helps on the journey to 2,000 subscribers because we are so, so close. See if we can get that before the end of the year because that would be awesome. And yeah, tell me what you think about this star in the comments. I'd like to know what um, you think of this. And if you find anything, like research and find anything, just let me know as well because I'm interested to see what you find. But... Yeah, there we go for the, the car. <laughs> that is such a weird name. Yeah, there we go. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.